in my never-ending quest to find more affordable ways to put sound into lightsabers, uh, you may remember this saber if you've seen any of my other videos. It had the had the cheap soundboard in it from a, like a four-dollar toy, uh, and it did the swing sounds even if you weren't swinging it. But it did do it did do some pretty good clash effects. Well, I've been working on uh, another solution uh, that's, you know, really not that much more money, but allows you to customize the sounds. And, uh, well, let's just go over to my breadboard and take a look. Uh, what I've been working on uh, recently is, I'm wondering how if I could use a WT588D soundboard as a standalone lightsaber controller. This, this could offer a very low cost option uh, if you just want to upgrade with just a few sounds versus uh, spending the money to buy one of the higher priced sound boards or ripping apart a toy. So what I've got on my breadboard here right now is the WT5D8D. Um, it's wired to a, a really cheap speaker so keep that in mind that uh, the sound quality is actually going to be better than that with a better speaker. Uh, plus the speaker is in open air and that doesn't necessarily sound great either. But I've got three switches wired in. Uh, one will simulate a clash sensor, and then I've got uh, one switch for activation uh, and one for deactivation. Uh, I'm hoping I can combine that into one switch. Uh, if I find the right kind of switch, maybe uh, either two switches on the hill or maybe one switch that's like a, a single pole double throw switch uh, might allow that to combine into one. And, and then it's just, it's just a 3.3 uh, 3 volt regulator. Uh, ignore this Arduino board over here, it's not hooked up to anything. Um, so what I was able to do is program the board to act like a simple lightsaber controller. So I'll turn it on, and you have to imagine that's wired through a FET to a high powered LED, and then you can hit the clash sounds. and then you can power it off. If that's all the sounds that you wanted, uh, you can get that just with the wt 5 d So I'm thinking like, if you made a really cheap, uh, if you had a really cheap build and you didn't really want to spend the money to upgrade it or you didn't want to tear apart a toy, this is a really inexpensive option given that this, uh, this board can be found on eBay for four to six bucks. Uh, really, really affordable. Uh, so I'm going to try, uh, as I get more time, to try and stick this in a, in a saber and see what kind of performance I can get out of it. But I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how it's working on my breadboard. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.